Hello and welcome to Inside IT from the technology experts at Intel's own IT department. In this podcast, we look at Intel's data center server refresh program. In previous podcasts, we've examined Intel's overhaul of its data center strategy and how Intel IT looks to run its data center service like a factory. One key aspect of that strategy is the data center server refresh program. Shesha Krishnapura is a senior principal engineer at Intel IT. To achieve the total cost of ownership reduction, one area we really need to look at is that our IS spend, which is being the, our data center, and in that data center, one of the ways we can achieve the best efficiency is to refresh older servers, three to four year old servers with newer servers. Krishnapura says Intel's operation and thus its data center is divided into five verticals, design, office, manufacturing, enterprise, and services. Design is our largest vertical consisting of 80% of all our servers. Roughly it is around 45,000 servers today and going up. And within that design vertical, Krishnapura says the facility itself makes up the largest part of the cost of the data center service. One third of our cost, 33%, is in the data center facilities. And the data center facilities cost us quite a bit of investment in building sophisticated data center facilities to host very high power uh, servers, uh, storage and networking environment. Meanwhile, demand continues to increase dramatically, but data centers can't be built overnight. It's often changes much more faster compared to the lead time which is required to secure, build, and get a data center space operational. So what can IT do to meet demand in a timely and cost-effective fashion? One key factor can be to focus on the server refresh rate. One of the ways we can manage our existing assets in the data center facilities environment is to make sure that we constantly look at these servers, the upcoming new servers, which offer higher performance, higher throughput due to more cores and uh, higher uh, memory per core, plus better reliability features built into those servers so that we can make the right level of investments as part of not just meeting the growth needs inside Intel, which is around 35% year over year compute capacity growth, but also taking out some of the older servers out of our data centers. So not only does a well-thought-out refresh policy help meet growing demand, it actually frees up space. Krishnapura gives the example of replacing a four-and-a-half-year-old server with one based on the Intel Xeon E5 2600 V2 product family. Now, Intel released our uh, latest Intel Xeon E5 series product in September of last year, and that one had... 10 cores, which we use as a standard uh, platform in our two-socket-based platform. And those 10 core two-socket-based machines offered roughly two and a half times more throughput than the four core two-socket-based Nehalem architecture-based servers, which were bought four, four and a half years ago. That means you free up 60% of your data center space and reduce power consumption and cooling infrastructure by about the same percentage. So given that one third of your total cost is data center facilities, space, power, and cooling cost, and less than 25% is your server cost. It makes perfect sense for us to regularly refresh your server capacity so that without spending time as well as expensive dollars to build out next generation data centers, but optimally use the existing space for better return on investment on your IT flat spending targets, what typically any Intel IT like companies out there in the industry has. Intel has just announced the new Xeon E7 4800 V2 product family, which will make the server refresh that much more efficient. This is the first time Intel is introducing a 22 nanometer based extreme large Xeon performance and throughput based server. It is a 15 core processor, which is around offering 50% more cores compared to the prior generation in the E7. Krishnapura says Intel IT is excited to leverage the new features of the new Xeon E7 4800 V2, not the least of which is dramatically improved performance. So what we have seen with E7 4800 V2 is that it is 84% higher performance throughput 
compared to the prior generation E7 4870, and that's very, very significant for us. So the 4800V2 on a 22 nanometer has shown a significant performance throughput increase compared to the 32 nanometer E7 4870, the prior generation which we have used in our environment. Krishnapura says as the price of an individual server has remained roughly the same over the past few years, the advances Intel server refresh program provide are all made while cost remains about the same. If you look at our data center footprint, the number of servers which we have in our uh, 48 plus design hosted data centers plus our entire design office, enterprise, manufacturing and services, which constitute around 64 worldwide data centers, we have seen relatively a flat number of servers in the last few years. But they meet consistently around 35% increased capacity demands what we need to meet our business every year. Shesha Krishnapura has overseen an overhaul of Intel's data center strategy that has brought dramatic changes to the company's infrastructure. It's allowed Intel to continue to meet the ongoing increased demand for compute power while maintaining reliability and security and all while containing cost. Regular upgrades of servers to the latest Intel technology has been a key part of this overhaul. Server refresh is an integral part of our data center efficiency and our data center transformation strategy. The server refresh offer much better value proposition compared to investments in building new data centers. The reason being that the servers cost a lot lower compared to the data center's cost in our total cost of ownership. And spending on servers gets us better return on investment. Also, from an operational standpoint, the data center built out as a long lead time, whereas server refresh we can achieve within days. That does it for this edition of Inside IT. For more information on Intel's data center server refresh strategy or on anything IT related, go to www.intel.com IT. While you're there, you can sign up for the Intel IT Center for regular updates on IT topics, third-party research, IT-focused events, and more. For Inside IT, I'm Paul Lancor. <music>